Hi, Maria. I'm here at Abalone Cove where I caught up with lifeguards and members of the newly formed Abalone Cove Safety Task Force. This force was created in the wake of the recent number of rescues that have had to be performed here, as well as the tragic drowning of a man off Sacred Cove. The bottom line is safety officials want to make sure that the public knows when they come to the beach, they need to be safe rather than sorry. As a part of this uh, safety task force, we have the sheriff's department, we've got the fire department, lifeguards. Uh, we also have our rangers from MRCA, as well as city staff. We had obviously a lot of uh, incidents and a lot of uh, reports of rescues needing to be made. So we, we got everybody together in one room, started talking about what we can do to educate the public a little bit more on how to uh, use your public beach safely. As far as the lifeguards are concerned, what we want to share with the community is, is we want people to come down, we want people to enjoy the beach, but there's very little beach that's lifeguarded. So we want people to come down and swim in the water where there's a lifeguard. Abalone Cove Shoreline Park has a beach where we staff a lifeguard starting at 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. RPV, which is below Trump National Golf Course, also has a lifeguard. The other areas, um, of course, Sacred Cove, there are, there's no lifeguard present. So talk about swimmer safety there. Around the, the two points, so you have Portuguese Point and Inspiration Point, when the water comes in, um, there's places where the water goes back farther or goes back into the rock point. And uh, a lot of people call those the gorges, the tide pools. Um, I would describe it as worse than a washing machine. It goes up, down, back, forth. Um, the water recedes really low, then comes really high, and um, what we've seen is people are jumping in the water, they're getting scratched up, they're, um, they're getting injured, and unfortunately we had a, had a death at one of the uh, points. Our message right now with this, uh, the Abalone Cove incident and everything that's happened at Sacred Cove, um, with the Sheriff's Department standpoint, if you're in trouble, or see somebody in trouble, have somebody call 911. Get the emergency services rolling immediately. The other thing, know where you are. During the last two major incidents that we had, everybody on the 911 said that they were at Abalone Cove. All the resources went to Abalone Cove when in fact they were at Inspiration Point in Sacred Cove. So please, please know where you are, know your exact location. We back up Alley County lifeguards. Um, and well, our message would be to uh, obey the uh, posted warning signs before you go down into the water. Uh, I always speak to a lifeguard uh, before getting into the water to get the, um, the beach conditions, swim conditions. If you go in the water, stay away from the rocks as conditions can change without notice and, and slam you into the rocks. Uh, I always swim close to a uh, open uh, lifeguard post and I always swim with a buddy. We want to tell the public when they come here, we want them to enjoy the coastline, enjoy the beaches, but do it in a safe manner. You know, if you have kids especially, stick to the beaches that have the lifeguards that are on duty, that are on, you know, on call or, or on, on the location. Just be, use your common sense and be safe out here. We're talking about, you know, making your day at the beach safe, we've had a lot of um, situations here recently with the drowning and you said you, you were here. We were here that day and the lifeguards actually asked us to get out of the water and then maybe 20 minutes later the helicopter was coming down and it was very emotional, very emotional, yeah. What do you, for your girls, what do you tell them about being safe when they come? Just, I give them the tips on to swim with the current, don't go against it and um, just to stay near mommy. I've been lifeguarding for 30 years and in the last three years, this particular location in Amelone Cove, Shoreline Park, uh, the activity has increased tenfold. I think the ease of getting here, uh, the, the social media, uh, everyone knows where it is now. It's very easy to pull up. And the Facebook, the Twitter, and those, those social media avenues have really uh, accounted for a lot of the activity we're getting down here. We're, we're trying to educate people in many ways, uh, this being one of them. Um, but it's uh, through signage, uh, through, our, uh, through our press releases, through uh, just our knowledge when people come into the gate up at Avalone Cove, our staff is letting them know, you know, kind of what the conditions are, uh, to go swim near a guard, and just do the right thing, to do things that are, you know, just make sense. 
again, to highlight some of the safety tips for beachgoers, number one, never swim alone. Always make sure there is a lifeguard visible. We want to make sure that you're safe rather than sorry when you come to the beach. Back to you, Maria, in the studio. The public can expect to see extra patrols through the busy Labor Day weekend, and if you're planning a trip to Abalone Cove, you should note that the parking lot is open, but will remain under construction through September.